You know, there are a lot of lessons for our lives here in 2 Kings 5. I want to encourage you to read through the chapter slowly and note all the different applications. You know, in this chapter, we read about Naaman, a commander of the Aramean armies who is afflicted with leprosy. Now, you may ask, leprosy? Is that even still a real thing? Well, leprosy is an infection that affects the nerves, the skin, the eyes, even the lining of your nose. The disease is known today as Hansen's disease, and it's very rare and, in fact, treatable. But not, not in the days of Naaman. See, it was a, a social and eventually a physical death sentence. And God heals Naaman in a very unique way in this chapter. And Naaman almost misses out on the healing because truly of how simple it was for him to be healed. And out of the gratefulness of his heart, he offers gifts to the prophet Elisha. But Elisha refuses to take any gifts for what God has done. But Elisha's servant, Gehazi, he's not so noble. He, he chases down Naaman, lies to him about Elisha's desire to have the gifts, and Gehazi takes the money for his own. But in the end, Gehazi's greed ends up giving him the disease of leprosy. Now, like I said, there are a lot of lessons in this chapter. Time doesn't allow for us to, to cover them all. We see that God can work in ways that are unexpected and even unusual. We see the importance of humility and just simple obedience. We see the price of sacrificing your character for personal gain. I mean, Gehazi lies. He goes after luxury and ends up with leprosy. So as we consider this chapter today, let me leave you with just a, a simple final consideration and the words from Proverbs chapter 3. You see, no matter what's going on in your life right now, trust God and humbly obey him. No matter how simple or maybe even how unusual it may seem to you, Remember, God speaks to us through his word, so allow his word to filter all your thoughts and decisions. And never sacrifice your good name for temporary gain. Allow the Lord to take care of you as you take care of following him. Proverbs chapter 3 tells us this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he, he shall direct your paths.